Many fans of the Forex genre refer back to the 90s as the golden age of Forex. It makes sense as some of the greatest games ever made in the genre, such as Civilization 2, Master of Orion 1 and 2, Master of Magic, Colonization, and more were released in the 90s. Those games are the pillars of the genre. They've influenced every single Forex game released since. Then, about a decade ago, many started asking if we were on the verge of yet another Forex Golden Age, but our very own Oliver Kiley argued against it in an Explominate exposition. Looking back, I disagree with Oliver, as some of the games in the 2010s were outstanding and have significantly influenced the genre. For example, games like Endless Legend, Endless Space 2, Stellaris, Civilization 6, and even the Star Drives have certainly influenced the future generations of Forex games. A few of them are still being updated and played today. But now, in 2024, X, yes, I'm coining this term and I'm proud of it, I can't help but consider that too many quality Forex games are being released not to revisit the Golden Age question. In the past few years, we have seen Age of Wonders 4, Old World, Distant Worlds 2, Dune Spice Wars, Master of Magic Reboot, Galactic Civilizations 4 and the Supernova Expansion, Interstellar Space Genesis, Imperium's Greek Wars, Spellforce, Conquest of EO, and even the hot and cold Humankind, along with many expansions that have improved their base games. My main concern for the genre in 2023 was its somewhat formulaic approach to most of its entries. Players don't need more of the same, only flashier and more user-friendly. We've had plenty of those games. We need to see more Forex games try to push the formula in new and exciting directions. To quote Star Trek, they must start boldly going where no Forex game has gone before. And our first entry is doing just that. At number five, Millennia. Millennia is the brand new Paradox offering by C-Prompt Games that is a historical Forex game that allows players to play procedurally generated maps in a race through time as we know it. Wait, what was my point about boldly going where no one has gone before? Don't worry. I wasn't just saying that. Millennia introduces age variants, wherein your civilizations and the worlds that they live in can firmly travel into alternative history paths. With your journey confidently exploring a steampunk setting, heroes of lore walking among us, or an era of plagues, wherein your people will learn to survive near apocalyptic diseases. But that's not it. There are many age variants in this game. And those age variants exist all through Millennia's timeline and are unlocked by a variety of different criteria being met throughout the gameplay. While going through these divergent histories, you'll create production chains in a way no other Forex game has really attempted before. Use a sawmill to take advantage of the trees your forester is felling and see an even more considerable increase in your production numbers. Or use a kiln to bolster your output from a nearby clay pit. If your people need more food, you can make bread with grain for a large boost to your food production. Get the point? It's actually pretty cool. And it's even deeper than that, and the game revolves around this system pretty heavily. There's even more to this game that we're excited about, but we have some concerns about its imminent release date, as many of the shortcomings found in the demo, namely the AI and the balance, are unlikely to get fixed in a short month leading to release. And it's not exactly the prettiest game either, especially that battle viewer. While we firmly believe gameplay trumps graphics, we still wish there could have been more done here. Regardless, Millennia is a pretty exciting historical 4X game, and we're excited to see how it finishes. At number four, Alliance of the Sacred Sons will take macro management to a new level. Now billing itself as a sci-fi grand strategy RPG, Alliance of the Sacred Sons looks to take the best elements of the 4X and grand strategy genres and marry them with a tasty RPG flavor. You'll lead your empire and make decisions at the macro level, all while dropping those sweet, sweet attribute and skill points to make your emperor more capable. And honestly, these latest screenshots make the game look so much better than it did a year or even two months ago. Here's hoping that Steve and Cathawk Games can get this one across the finish line in 2024X. Last we spoke to Steve on the podcast, he just radiates with passion and excitement for this project so we know he and his small team will be up to the task. We will find out later this year. At number three, Revival Recolonization. Revival Recolonization promises to be released 
into its final form in 2024X, and it's shaping up into something pretty special. You start out in a post-apocalyptic world with only your emissary, some warriors, and a purpose. You'll rebuild Earth to your liking, assimilating tribes along the way while fighting off other tribespeople, emissaries, and the Allmind, a sentient group of robots hell-bent on re-apocalypsing the Earth. Well, that's not a word, but I'm keeping it. In doing so, you'll manipulate the environment, bend the temperature and climate to your will, and progress through a unique tech tree full of Stone Age to futuristic technologies to unlock. Oh, and did I mention mammoths with artillery cannons on their back? Because I should have. You can command those in turn-based combat, which is both quick and exciting enough to keep you in the game. It's a huge draw in my opinion. While already in early access, Revival Recolonization is nearing its version 1.0 with an emissary update. It's the last step on its early access roadmap, and after some time with it, aside from some polish and quality of life improvements, mainly that I want to hide those district icons on the main map, I think asymmetric emissaries are all the game really needs. We're eager to hear more about its emissary update and the road to likely 1.0 soon, so stay tuned. At number two, Zephon. Oh, Zephon, you will certainly push combat and Forex in ways only Proxy Studios has figured out. The developers behind Warhammer, 40K, Gladius, Relics of War, man, that's a mouthful, are deep into their next project, free of the 40K license. While it still feels, looks, and plays pretty similarly to Gladius, the main differences will include three branching technology paths called the Human, the Voice, or Cyber Paths, an RPG-like diplomacy system, distinct leader abilities, and more. If you're anything like us, you've probably already played the latest demo on Steam. And really, if the final product of Zephon can just add to its already excellent Gladius formula with what's planned, then there is no way it won't offer dozens and dozens of hours of 4x fun. For Zephon's sake, I really hope that they lean into those distinct leader abilities that they advertise, because I think that'll significantly add to its replayability, and significantly add to my excitement for it as well. We'll find out later this year, and I'm frothing at the bit to see this final product. And at number one, Ara History Untold. Ara History Untold is attempting to take the entire historical genre and flip a lot of it on its head. With more of a focus on city building and the economic aspects of Forex, and even a crafting system, Ara is trying some things that historical Forex games have not tried before. That focus and the way it looks, I mean, God, it's beautiful. Make it the most anticipated game for me of 2024X. And the recent video and written dev diaries have only strengthened my desire to play this game. Okay, maybe I'm already playing it. But I can't talk much about it because I'm NDA'd. Surprise, right? Quite honestly, the line between what I know because I'm behind the scenes and what's publicly available is a bit blurry. So I'm going to leave you with a link to their dev journals down below. And I'm going to show you some more of this video too. It looks amazing, does it not? If you're a bit tired of the Civilization series, this might be for you. And if you're hopeful that they can improve the historical Forex genre and that a true competitor to Civilization can actually exist, then I think you should keep Ara History Untold directly in your sights. In a year of pretty dang good Forex games, Ara History Untold definitely stands above the rest. One last bonus entry. Sins of a Solar Empire 2 Sins 2 promises to take the acclaimed real-time strategy gameplay of its predecessor to new heights. Set against the backdrop of a vast and dynamic galaxy, players will once again command mighty fleets, forge alliances, and conquer worlds in a bid for supremacy. Building upon the foundation laid by its predecessor, Sins of a Solar Empire 2 introduces enhanced graphics, deeper strategic options, and more immersive gameplay mechanics. Honestly, it might be the first time, and maybe the only time I'll ever say this, but all we really wanted was more of the same, only better looking. And that's pretty much what we're getting with Sins of a Solar Empire 2. And man, does it look good. We expect Sins of a Solar Empire 2 to release out of early access on Epic later this year. We'll be watching it, for sure. So what do you think, Forex fans? Do you think 2024X is going to be a great year? Do you think we're in the midst of a third Forex Golden Age? We're eager to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment below and 
uh, while you're at it, could you just like this video and subscribe? Okay, there. I said it. Of course, we here at Explominate will be keeping a close eye on all these games, and we'll be reporting on anything new that comes up. But until then, this was Rob from Explominate. Keep exploring.